Today, I'm going to teach you how to go from this pattern to this group of shapes that you can actually edit in vector form. Okay, so first of all, you're going to want to get a pattern, which I'm going to assume you already know how to do. And I'm quickly just going to transform this, make sure all these boxes except for transform pattern is selected. Okay, so now we have this pattern here. Um, so all you're going to want to do is go to object, whoops, object, expand, and then click, make sure fill is selected, and then click OK. Okay, now you're going to have this um, clipping, or this, uh, yeah, clipping group. So you're going to want to select it, and then hit option, command, or control, alt, 7. Okay, and now um, this is pretty much it, except there are a few um, things. So you can see all of these are in groups. I like to select the top one, go all the way to the bottom, hold shift, and select the bottom one, and then hit command shift G, or if you're on Windows, um, control shift G. Um, and then we have all these artifacts, these little invisible shapes that are just sitting around doing absolutely nothing. So what I like to do is hit Y, for the magic wand tool, select one of the shapes and it will select all of them. And then just hit delete. And there you go, there's your um, group with all your shapes in it. I actually usually like to select the group and then hit command eight or control eight if you're on Windows and then fill it back in. And there's your compound path with all of your um, pattern shapes. That's how you do it, pretty easy.